Hello, everyone. My name is Eric Blage with Proco Products. I'm one of the national sales managers. And today I will be giving you a tutorial on our online CAD catalog via 3DX Media. This is a great tool for engineers or anyone that is using pipe stress analysis programs such as Caesar or K-Pipe. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the Proco Products homepage, which is www.procoproducts.com. Once you're here, you'll notice a black bar that runs across the top of your screen. Right in the middle, you're gonna see Proco Toolbox. If you click on that and scroll down, there's a 3D online CAD catalog from 3DX Media. So we will select that. Then you'll need to scroll to the bottom of the page and there's a hyperlink that says click here. So we'll click on that. Proco has two different types of CAD drawings available. We offer rubber expansion joints and then also rubber duckbill check valves. For this presentation, I will be covering rubber expansion joints. So I will click on that. Once I'm on the next page, you'll notice that we have eight different categories or eight different types of rubber expansion joints that we offer CAD drawings for. We have a wide variety, but for the ease of this presentation, I'm just going to select our 230 series at the top. Even within our 230 series, we have the single, double, and triple arch CAD drawings available. I will select the 231 series. The first thing that you'll notice is a rendering of that specific expansion joint. You can rotate 360 degrees. I'm gonna scroll down here for a second and change the pipe size for, for 20 inches. And you'll see why as I continue this presentation. So I can scroll back up here. You'll notice that the drawing has changed. In the inside, we have an open arch, which allows more movement. Let's say you have an application where there are solids flowing through the piping system. You can alter and change that to a filled arch. And now you'll see that this is smooth all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and change this back to open arch. Scrolling down, you can adjust the overall length of the rubber expansion joint. These are the standard ones that we have available. I'm just gonna keep this at eight inches for now. You can choose from a wide variety of different types of elastomers. You can see we have FDA approvals, NSF 61, et cetera. I'm just gonna leave this at chlorobutyl for now. You can adjust the temperature. Control units required. So if I scroll back up to the top, you can see that these control units are on the outside of the expansion joint. Control units prevent overextension and over compression. So right now we have yes selected. If I scroll back to the bottom and I say that control units are not required and scroll back up, you will see that they are now completely gone in the drawing. I do want to have them available though and I'll show you why. So we'll reselect control units. Right now at a 115 PSI, six control units are required. So we'll scroll back. You can see six control units are on the outside of the expansion joint. If I change this pressure rating to 40 PSI, you will notice that only two control rods are required. So I scroll back up, two control rods are here. So this program is very interactive. It allows you to customize the expansion joint to your needs. So scroll back down. I mentioned before that control rods prevent overextension and over compression. Our figure one is to prevent that overextension, but figure two, for example, we'll select on that. I'm gonna go back to the top, change the drawing a little bit, and you'll notice that there's now nuts on the inside. So these nuts are gonna prevent over compression if there's a check valve, strainer, the, the weight of the column of the pipe pushing down the joint, it's gonna prevent that over compression. We'll scroll back down here different types of materials for the control units and also if you need spherical washers or not. I'm going to scroll back to the top here. You can see that there's a wide variety of different types of drawings available. Unfortunately, you're not able to take our drawings and drop them directly into Caesar or K-Pipe like I mentioned before. There's just too many variations and iterations, but what you can do 
is take the bill of materials. And there's a lot of different information that you can see here, such as the different types of movements, angular deflection, the thrust factor. And then if you scroll to the bottom, there's different types of spring rates as well. So all of this information can be input into your stress analysis system. And it'll give you, give you a better idea of what introducing an expansion joint into your piping system will do. That wraps up the tutorial. Should you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out to Proco Products and we will assist you. Thank you for listening.